Hey guys, welcome back to Horticulture Geek. Let's plant carrots and garlic today. Hey guys, welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray. Thank you so much for joining me today here in the garden. And like I said a second ago, today I want to be planting carrots and garlic. Uh, some of you may be thinking, it's not the right time to plant carrots. Well, it's not. But here in my zone, um, I am a seven, zone seven, um, central Arkansas, hot southern climate. Carrots are a cool season crop. And so I'm gonna go ahead, um, and here in Arkansas, we plant carrots um, late fall, or you can come out early spring, late winter. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some of these seeds in the ground, not all of them, and see if we can go ahead and get a carrot harvest um, to be going this winter, because we're only in November right now. Um, we don't expect hard, hard winter until December, January. Um, so, and even then it's always a shot in the dark as to whether or not it's gonna be a hard winter. Um, there are some seasons where these will be just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and put some carrots in the ground. And then we're also gonna be putting some garlic in the ground. Um, and this is garlic that I grew this past year. These are cloves that have not been used yet. Um, and you can see that one right there is actually starting to go, it's sprouting. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and plant those today. It is time to get those in the ground. Um, we plant garlic late fall. It grows all winter long. Um, and then we harvest about 4th of July. That's the usually the window you're shooting for um, is 4th of July-ish. Your plants will tell you when to harvest. But today we're just gonna worry about planting. Now, where are we planting? We are in the back corner of the garden and we are planting in the Vegiga raised garden bed. Let me just kind of show you right here where we're at. Uh, let's see here. So you can see there is the Vegiga bed right there. And there is still a tomato behind me because we have not had a killing frost yet. So there's still a tomato right there. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna get the camera set up. Um, first, let's actually prep the garlic. So when you order garlic or buy garlic, it's gonna come in your full garlic heads like this. And what we want to do is plant garlic cloves. Now I've done this in videos before, lots of gardeners have done videos about this, but it is super simple. We're just going to open up this garlic and I just peeled it apart and I'm gonna get to the individual cloves of garlic. And I'm going to leave the papery skin on them. That is a protective layer to prevent the actual garlic clove bulb from rotting in the soil. So leave the paper. And as you can see, there is a root end. If I get the camera to focus on that and a growth end. So we're going to plant that into the soil that way. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue working around this garlic and pulling these apart. There is nothing hard about this process. Um, now this is a really good one you can see because this one has already started to sprout. So if I can get it here to show you. So you can see the growth point is coming there and then the roots will come out right there. All right, so I'm gonna continue to break down the rest of this garlic and then I'll be right back and I'll have the camera adjusted so you can watch me plant these things today. Okay, so I've lowered the camera, I'm down here, I'm ready to go. And I've got my little pile of garlic cloves right here. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna take my garlic cloves and I'm just gonna, for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant the garlic cause it's gonna be in here from now until July 4th. So I'm gonna use these garlics as a perimeter ring around this raised bed planter. That way the center of my raised bed will still be open and available. I'm gonna be putting carrots in a small section of that right now, but then I'll also have some more space open and available for future plantings or for early spring crops that I wanna put in here potentially later. Um, so that's something you have to keep in mind when you are planning out where to plant stuff, 
you really want to make sure you know how long it's going to take from what you're putting in the ground to what you want to harvest. Um, and so don't be putting stuff like garlic right where you know you want to be planting your spring crops or your tomatoes next year or anything like that because that garlic is going to be there until around July 4th. So you're not going to be able to have um, a lot of time to put something in its spot other than a fall crop. So we take garlic out now, um, it, we put it in the ground now, it comes out in July, then we put something in that we can harvest at fall time. So you have to make sure you plan your garden out and think about where you're putting stuff. That's just pro tip for you guys today. So we talked about how to orient the garlic head um, or the garlic clove, root end down, pointy end, growth end up. Um, now this is nice, rich, very loose, fluffy soil. So all I have to do in this situation is take it and I'm going to poke it in um, about four inches, three to four inches, just right down in there. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way around the bed like that. So give me just a second and I'll have this done. All right, so for my carrots now, all I'm gonna do, and you can kind of see this right here, um, I've got my soil nice and smooth. And again, like I said a minute ago, this is loose, fluffy soil. Carrots absolutely have to have loose, fluffy soil. You can't grow carrots in hard, compact, muddy, clayey, thick soil. The carrots just won't have room to grow and expand. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here is get this surface nice and smooth, as nice and smooth as I can. You can see I've got that. This is, obviously I'm gonna, I've got leaves in the way. I'm gonna throw a few of those out. Carrots require light in order to germinate. This bed does get sunlight. So <clears throat> all we're gonna do is it's called surface sowing. And when you read on a seed package, that they want you to surface sow. That means you don't bury the seed, okay? We're just gonna sprinkle it right on top. So I'm just going to open this package up. Carrot seeds are extremely tiny. You can see that little pile of seeds in my hand. And I'm just going to attempt to put them uh, around the top of the raised bed area. I'm not gonna worry about rowing them or anything like that. I'm not looking for nice straight rows. I can thin these as they grow. All right, so now that I've got my seeds broadcast on the soil, I just need to make sure that those seeds have good contact with the dirt. So what I'm gonna do is take my hand and lightly tamp, just lightly tamp. I'm not smushing, I'm not pushing the seeds into the, down into the dirt. I'm just lightly tamping to make sure those seeds are firmly resting on the surface. And that's it, we've planted our carrots. So here we have another look at the Vegica raised bed. And as you just saw, I planted the garlic around the perimeter and I did carrots in this section here. So I have left this section open and as soon as I have a killing frost, that tomato will come out and that section will be completely open for future plantings. So we'll see how the carrots do. 
All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. A real quick one, uh, but I thought I would just bring you along for these two quick planting projects. Um, and we'll see how they turn out. Um, I'm not worried about the garlic. Um, now is the perfect time to plant garlic for me and my climate zone. Um, and the carrots, we'll just see what happens. So I'm hoping that it's an amazing harvest, but I've still got some to plant and I will plant the rest of those um, somewhere uh, early spring, late winter um, to see what happens with that. So I'll have a succession planting of carrots. Hopefully that'll be fun. Now, I did want to mention to you guys, if you are interested in a Vegiga raised garden bed, so you see mine, I love it. Um, this is a standard, um, just a straight line one. They come like this, they come round, they come L-shaped, they come U-shaped, they come in different colors. I've got the nice green, they come in a gray. I mean, they just, lots of options. If you are interested in Vegiga, they are having a huge Black Friday sale that's already going. Um, they are having huge markdowns. And if you follow my link um, and use uh, my link, then you can, and use my um, uh, Hort Geek 10 promotion code, um, that, that gives you an additional 10% off. Um, so now's a great time to go out there and check out vegiga.com and order yourself a raised bed from Vegiga. Um, like I said, they're having that huge sale right now, uh, big markdowns. So follow the link. Um, I'll try to put the link here in the video and then it's also in the description below. So please follow that link and go check out the Vegiga raised beds. Um, and if you really are in the market for a Vegiga raised bed, please use my link. Um, that helps me back. Um, because if you follow that link and then and wind up purchasing something, then I get a commission back on that, which helps me continue gardening and showing you all the things I'm doing here in the Horticulture Geek Garden. And I sure would appreciate that. Which also brings me to my next point. Um, another great way that you can help me out here in the Horticulture Geek Garden it's just by giving me that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscription bell. It definitely helps with the algorithm. I mean, it helps me continue to make videos like this where I can show you what's going on here in the Horticulture Geek Garden. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Um, but until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.